Okay, we're recording. Hello. Sup, guys? We are coming back from doing our second video. Oh, the right three, three. Uh, the right three that we're doing for our book. We have our pentominoes today. Pentomino. This one says loser. Because I'm a loser. So, let's get to what we think about the and book. And our awesome teacher, Miss Gabbard, will keep these for the summer, for the Christmas break. Yeah, our own set of pentominoes. It helps us connect to the book. Like this. Um, let's start with Julian. What do you have to say about the book? Uh, it was it's currently playing with his pentagrams. It's very confusing. I don't understand sometimes. I sometimes understand, sometimes I don't. But to me, it's very hey, confusing. Is that all you have to say? Mm -hmm. then, now to me. So, the right three in the book, we are at... Chapter, like 15. Chapter, yeah. I'm on chapter 16. Something like that. I'm on, I I'm on chapter, like, I think 14. I lost 15. my page. Something like that. So, anyways, we're in chapter around 15, anywhere near there. And um, it is a very confusing book. Sometimes you have to read over again. But no. once you get the, once you read over again, you can understand. And it has, no, a, lot of, it has a lot of mysteries hidden in the text and in the pictures, like the fish that we showed the last time. And, um, chapter 7, like he took his pentominoes, because pentominoes are based after word, and I, he spelled out with his favorite pentominoes, fear it, and, uh, and then it spelled out flare it, which is weird. Yeah, so, it is an interesting book. I haven't read a book like this before. Jamesy, what do you have to say? I have to say I'm awesome. About the book. Uh, um, um, I get, I get everything about the book. So yeah. No, nope. I like about the book because it, it's awesome with Pentami. Julie, your turn. Back to the start. So yeah. Back in chapter, I, I just love pentominoes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in chapter 7, he took his pentominoes, he has 3D pentominoes. What the heck is this thing? It's probably your face. It was on the carpet. Oh, it looks like your yeah. Oh, looks like Okay, anyway. Um, my ears are crazy. It's always crazy. Blah, who is it? Anyway, um, so yeah, in chapter 7, uh, he took his orange pentominoes, 3D pentominoes, that he, uh, his we don't have 3D pentominoes. And these are flat. Actually, these are 3D, but they're really, really thin. Okay, back to Since they're based on letters, he spelled out with his favorite pentominoes, fear it, and then he added an L, and it was flare it. So I don't know what's going to happen yet. And then this, this is 3D. Um, yeah, in his hand, you can see he's got pentominoes, but they're three inch. We don't have any of those for you today, so. But we shall next time, we hope. No, maybe not. Probably not. We don't have 3D event on those. Cubes. Okay, so now it's my turn. Yes. Kind of don't really know what to say without repeating what I said last time. But um, when uh, it was con um, the teacher. Wow! Look at what I made. Whoa. Uh, look at my sculpture. Okay, back to you. Um, the book in the the teacher in the book is kind of a different teacher because like she when she was talking about the Roby house the first time she said it was murder that they're taking it down and uh, um she felt really strongly about it and um, she was overly excited when she said that. No, but in a bad way. In a bad, in a bad way, overly excited. Dangerously excited. That's what Super dangerously mega excited. And also in the book, one thing that uh, one thing that was cool was or interesting. One thing that was interesting was that they that the text. Sometimes it will say something kind of like metaphoric. I mean, <laughs> metaphor in a way of a metaphor, and it's kind of confusing to tell if it's a metaphor or they're telling something for real. So yeah, Jungsu. 
up, dogs? Um, I kind of actually really like this book because we get to play with him on music. Okay, um, actually, it's They're all mystery, man. Well, they're all mystery. And they're um, with the same characters as Chasing, the Amira, and the Calder game. It's blocked by this thing since it's from the library. There. Um, I'm trying to use 12 pieces to make a square. Is that what you're that's what you're that's oh, yeah. what you're supposed to do? A little bit about Plutongos. So in the book they use Plutongos a lot because uh, one it's guy named Calder. He really likes pentominoes, and so he carries a set. Is it called the main? I like pentominoes too. Yeah, he he really likes pentominoes. He has these three dimensional ones that are probably like that thick. Yeah, and they're and, um, actually um, they're actually really rare. Oh well, I didn't really catch that. But anyway, so pentominoes they are these flat pieces or sometimes three-dimensional pieces of plastic or wood, I guess it could be out of different materials. And um, they are made out of cubes, so there's five cubes in each one. One, two, three, four, five. You can see they're separated by these little lines. And oh, yeah, they're all, all five. They, yeah, they all are consisted of uh, five squares, but rearranged. So this one has five squares, but it looks like a W. This one has five squares, but it looks like a L. So it just... Um, uh, in different shapes, and you can use these. They're used for ge geometry. You can use these to put them together, fit them together, kind of like a puzzle, to create a square. So, like, let's just yeah, say that pentominoes are cool. Or uh, rectangles, so kind of that. And yeah. So now it's your turn. Um, let's just say that pentominoes are cool. Really? This one that the book. Cool. Anyway, um, I like a lot about the book because we can make. Since they have pentominoes in the book, we get to play with pentominoes. Aha! I just did it. I like about the book. The thing you're supposed to do with pentominoes is take 12 of them. I already told. <laughs> oh. uh, oh, each set of pentominoes has 12. And now. And then you're supposed to make a square. This is what I have been doing so far. About the book, a lot about pentominoes. Yeah. We've already told quite a lot about pentominoes. I think the other book that we really like. Okay, we really like pentominoes. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been reading to like chapter 7 or something. What? You're supposed to be on chapter like 15. Well, it doesn't matter as long as you get to the book done by yeah. Friday. Anyway, so I've been reading it and it, I don't get it. You don't get it? I do not get the book. Still? I'm the star of the show. I got it. Anyway, it's very, very confusing for me. No, there may be this book. It's very I need this piece. Wait, look. look, look, look. I can make it. I can finish it with more than 12 pieces. This is my piece, though. But, so, this book overall is good. When you, confusing. Oh, yeah, when you when you understand it, it's good. It's a very good book. When you don't understand it, I don't, I don't obviously, it's confusing. I don't so, understand it. I think that's all for this book club. We'll get to you when we finish the end of the book. Oh, and if you haven't yet seen... This is the Roby House, which they, uh, it's a real want. place. It's a real place, and um, oh. so apparently it's a really old house, and it was designed really well. But people, um, like a university, bought it, and now they're saying it's no, they didn't buy it yet. Oh yeah, they didn't buy it yet, but they wanted to tear it up. They wanted to buy it. 
they they want to buy it and they're going to tear the building apart into sections and then put display them in museums each section and the teacher really didn't like this and so did Calder or Ben. That looks really awkward in the Oh, Anyways, oh, catch you next time. We're going to combine all our pentominoes to make us. This is Jake, Julian, and... The JJJ, the JJJ. Yeah, JJJ signing off. And close. Close. Wait, close it. Up closer. Close.